Well, the group that meets at my house is called the San Francisco Folk Music Club. And, uh, I have a t-shirt on that has the name San Francisco Folk Music Club on it. They still come. <laughs> so, well, I thought I'd be nice to do, a, as long as we're doing women here, a, a song for Mother Nature. And again, I love people to sing along. It's, it's comp so just pick up on the chorus as you go along. The song is written by, I'm not a singer-songwriter, by the way as Phil is. I'm a very unusual kind of a person. I sing other people's songs. I harvest the songs <laughs> instead of writing them myself. Seems like when I need to say something, I find a song that's just saying it for me, and I love it that way. But the, the Lou and Peter Berryman are a couple of my favorite singers and songwriters, and this is one of their songs. She made the Georgia peaches, the Australian beaches, cliffs along the moonlight bay. The lindens and the larches and the metatarsal arches, molybdenum and DNA. Well, here's to Mother Nature, here's to Mother Nature for dreaming up the moon and sun. We'd better break it gently, but it seems that evidently nearly all her work is done. And she's been standing in the way of progress. Someone ought to sit her down. Except for a couple of window boxes, she doesn't have a place in town. Now we appreciate her effort, but we've got to make it clear. She's standing in the way of progress. We can take it on from here. Now she said, I beg your pardon, but would you spare my garden when you put your pipeline through? And your wires and your towers electrocute my flowers, and would you spare my bird bath too? Well, here's to Mother Nature, here's to Mother Nature. I do believe she works real hard. But there is only one way that we can build that runway, and that is through her big backyard. And she's been standing in the way of progress. Someone ought to sit her down. Except for a couple of window boxes. She doesn't have a place in town. Now we appreciate her efforts. But we've got to make it clear. She's standing in the way of progress. We can take it on from here. Now we tolerate her twisters, her poison ivy blisters, and learn to love her grouse and floods. Then we do a couple of dishes, and she bellies up the fishes and blames it on a few soap suds. Well, here's to Mother Nature, here's to Mother Nature, a little overwork, no doubt. I hope that she can make it, but she doesn't seem to take it as well as she can dish it out. <laughs> and she's been standing in the way of progress. Someone ought to set her down, except for a couple of window boxes. She doesn't have a place in town. Now we appreciate her effort, but we've got to make it clear. She's standing in the way of progress. We can take it on from here. Now, no one would deny her the option to retire. We'll put her in a lovely home. With automated showers and artificial flowers, she will never need to roam. Oh, here's to Mother Nature, here's to Mother Nature, I know she needs a good long rest. She acted like a child and just let things grow wild. Obvious that we know best. And she's been standing in the way of progress. Someone ought to set her down. Except for a couple of window boxes. She doesn't have a place in town. Now we appreciate her efforts, but we've got to make it clear. She's standing in the way of progress. We can take it on from here. <laughs>